Blessings and greetings, greetings and blessings, blessed souls. This is Torah Meditation Club video number seven as we continue to hopefully try to share some elucidations from the second Lubavitch Rebbe from his seminal work, Shar Yuchud, the Gate of Unification. In the first six videos, we've tried to elaborate on the fact that the meditation, his bonus, inner understanding, Panimi Bina, Ina, analytical study, is one of the foundations of the Torah. And now, from now on, hopefully we'll go more into the meat of the text, and if you need to review why we're engaging in this type of endeavor, you can go back to videotape number six, where we talk about the deficit-producing type of learning, which is done in the style of Girsa, which is a cursory style of learning. But now the Mitla Rebbe here on Daf Kuf Tes, as I kind of pluck out inspirations as I love to do, talks about the idea that we should come to familiarize ourselves that there are three things, one, two, three, three things or three dimensions of any concept that has become the object of our desire to learn more about. Number one, there is the omic of the concept, the essence of what that concept is. Now sometimes the essence does not readily make itself available to our understanding and therefore we need masters of Torah to explain to us. And here is a master of Torah, the Mitla Rebbe, explaining to us that we should come to realize there is an essence of a concept. There is also what is known as the width or breadth of a concept called the Rochav, like the width of a river. And this pertains to the data or database of the concept that we desire to learn more about. And then there is the orech, the length of the concept. Going way high and also going way down, whether it be high or low, each step a simplification of the database of the subject matter that we're trying to learn. For instance, if we were to go to try to learn about what the depth of the river is, according to the inner dimension perspective of what a river is, a nahar, we see that it's the wellsprings that feed into the river. And the very junctures point where there are wellsprings, but ultimately there's something even deeper than the wellsprings themselves, which hopefully we'll talk about later in hopefully future presentations. The Rochav of the river, the, the width of breadth of the river, is what can we observe above surface and even below surface of the waters of the river to identify the type of river life that is growing there in terms of plants and maybe uh, mineral formations, what type of river life in terms of fish or turtles or reptilian river swimming creatures are there and the length of the river well I'd like to simplify this very much because it's based on a personal experience 12 plus years ago coming close to 12 and a half years ago I took a train from Albany New York and from there, we pass by the beginnings of what is known as the Hudson River, which is located in New York State. And at the beginning of the Hudson River, it's a very humble creek. But by the time we traveled 20 miles, 30 miles, 50 miles, 100 miles, it was no longer a humble creek until we got to an area of the Hudson River, which, is, which runs underneath the Tappan Zee Bridge where the waters have become more turbulent and then eventually we passed the waters of the Hudson River as it passed under the George Washington Bridge where actually you can see not from the train but I just know from experience from riding my bike along the West Side River south of the George Washington Bridge you see that there are actually waves that come across the shore certainly a far extension far-reaching extension from those humble waters of the 
beginnings of the Hudson River. So again, to any concept, blessed souls, if we want to have an authentic type of meditative learning experience to give forth birth to new healthy emotions from our learning experiences, we have to understand that there are three points to the concept we're learning. Again, the depth, the essence, which sometimes we can access would be our own endeavors, but more likely than not, the, the depth is usually identified by a master of Torah, like say like the Mitla Rebbe or other great Torah sages. And the breath, the width, called the Rochav, which is the database, the information that we have to gather that we can review in our mind, and many, many times, some say as much as 60 times, some say as many as 100 times, and for those who are really students in terms of servicing the Torah, we'll study even 101 times, and then the length to simplify it to allegories and parables. To be continued, Peace for a dark and pleasant one. Take care.